We live in an interconnected smart world. We've got smartphones, smart watches, smart homes. We haven't gotten around to too many smart people yet, but what we do have is this, a smart clock. Because why not? This is Lenovo Smart Clock. It's a touchscreen alarm clock powered by the Google Assistant that packs tons of features in a compact design. Let's crack open the box. As you can see, it comes with the device itself and a bulky adapter for its barrel power plug. That means there's no USB-C or micro, so you'll have to bring the charger with you if you want to move the thing. We'll get to the design of the device right after this satisfying plastic pull. The smart clock is a 4-inch touchscreen surrounded by some chunky black bezels, making its face roughly the same size as a smartphone from a few years ago. It's a bit shorter than my white marble Pixel 3 XL, but it certainly makes up for it in its extra volume. It's roughly 3 by 4.5 inches on its face and just over 3 inches deep, so it's much more compact than other smart displays, but IMO, it's a perfect size for a bedside clock. Rounding out the physical stuff, it comes in at 328 grams as far as weight, or roughly 3 quarters of a pound. The material is a similar soft touch felt mesh to Google's products, especially the Nest Mini and Google Home. It comes in gray, shown here, and darker gray, which they like to call charcoal, but that one's only available from Lenovo's website. As far as buttons and switches go, Lenovo keeps it simple, with some very prominent plus and minus buttons at the top for volume control. We'll get to the sound quality in a second. Aside from that, there's a physical mute switch on the backside to mute the microphone if you don't trust our Google overlords, which is right next to the barrel power plug, and a handy USB port for charging another device, like a phone or a smartwatch in my case. Setting up the clock is super simple. Because it's a Google Assistant device, you set it up with the Google Home app, which means you don't have to deal with any Lenovo bloatware, which is definitely appreciated. The specs of this thing aren't that important, but we might as well cover them quickly. It's a 4 inch 800 by 480p IPS touchscreen, which means it certainly isn't the highest resolution out there, and you don't get the inky blacks of OLED, but it does have auto brightness to adapt to the room. As for internals, it's got 1 gig of RAM and 8 gigs of flash storage, powered by some random MediaTek 1.5 gigahertz processor. Finally, it's got one 3 watt speaker paired with two passive radiators for sound, connects to Wi-Fi over 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks, and packs Bluetooth 5.0 to boot. Once you finish setting it up on your phone, you're greeted with the massive clock, appropriate for a smart clock, I suppose. It comes with a little tutorial on how to get around the interface, which is thankfully fast, responsive, and super simple to use. Of course, this is a Google Assistant device first and foremost, so it can be fully controlled through your voice. It has all the features of any other Google Assistant device, like telling you the weather, calendar appointments, jokes, Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? Because it's pointless. Assistant apps, broadcasts, and more. It can even make phone calls to any number for free. Of course, it also integrates with all your smart home devices and services, as well as third-party stuff like IFTTT. If you ever used a Google Home or even just the assistance on your phone, you'll feel right at home here. The touch interface is similarly familiar to use. From the clock, you can swipe once from right to left to quickly view your upcoming alarms, and again to view the day's weather forecast. I used to also have access to my calendar and music, but in typical Google fashion, those screens seem to have gone the way of the dodo, randomly disappearing for some users. Anyways, swiping from the left edge of any screen will bring you back from anywhere in the interface until you get back to the clock. Here you can swipe down for some quick actions, with one tap access to your alarms, your good night or good morning Google Assistant routine or a nap timer depending on the time of day, music, and a switch to control your lights, like so. To change the clock face, simply press and hold, and you'll be presented with a large carousel of options, including digital and analog styles. You can even make a clock face that displays custom images from Google Photos. Each of these faces can be further customized too with a wide variety of playful colors, and there's even an automatic dark mode for lighter faces based on the brightness of the room. Rounding out the touch interface, a swipe up from the bottom of the screen lets you quickly control brightness and volume, toggle do not disturb mode on and off, and dive into the settings. I suppose we should talk about alarms now, as they are a pretty important feature for a clock. You can either add them directly with your voice, or swipe to the clock screen like before. Here you can toggle existing alarms on or off, create recurring alarms for certain days of the week, change between a few different preloaded sounds, there doesn't seem to be any way to load something from Spotify or a custom sound unfortunately, enable sunrise mode, which lights up the screen before your alarm in a feeble attempt to get you up in the morning, and choose for it to toggle your good morning routine automatically, which could turn on your lights and tell you the weather as soon as you wake up, for example. Back on the home screen, when you have an alarm enabled, you'll see an alarm icon in the top right corner, and upcoming alarms will appear at the bottom of your screen, where they can be quickly dismissed for the day with a simple tap if you wake up before your alarm. When the alarm actually rings, by default the volume starts very low and gradually gets louder. There's a stop and snooze button on the screen, the snooze duration can be changed in the settings. 
Oh, and probably its best feature, which isn't even advertised, it's smack activated. A simple smack on the top of the device, Lenovo calls this a hard tap, will either snooze or cancel your alarm. The choice is, once again, yours in the settings. But how do those alarms sound? Well, the speaker quality is fine. Definitely worse than the full-size Google Home and even the Nest Mini. Unfortunately, this device doesn't play videos from YouTube or Netflix, unlike Lenovo's larger smart screens, that would can show video feeds from a security camera. You can't play music to it, of course. It works as an audio Google Cast device that's recognized by Spotify and many other services, although getting the stream started can be a bit finicky. When streaming music, you get massive previous, next, and play pause buttons on the screen, so at least it's easy to control. One awesome feature is the ability to pair it up with another Cast speaker, like a Google Home or even a Chromecast, for much better room-filling sound. You can do that in the Google Home app. Alright, let's get to price and my conclusion. The Lenovo Smart Clock officially retails for $79.99, though it's commonly on sale for only $40, half that price. At the time of writing, you can snag one at Best Buy for $49.99. At $80, I'd be a little skeptical, but at either of those lower prices, I'm very satisfied with the Smart Clock. It's got just enough of everything. Google Assistant Smarts, a decent enough speaker, a compact and good looking design, a decent screen, and a feature you certainly couldn't get with just using an old smartphone or something, smack activation. If you ask me, it's absolutely worth the money. It's literally what gets me up in the morning. So that was my review of the Lenovo Smart Clock. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. The link to where you can buy this clock is down below, along with links to the gear I use to make this video. Be sure to check them out as I am able to earn some affiliate revenue through those links. And for the record, I purchased this clock from Best Buy and, as always, have not been compensated in any way to make this video. The opinions here are entirely my own, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below.